Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of the YouTube TV service. My name is Connor and I'll be guiding you through the basics of this streaming TV platform. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using YouTube TV on an internet browser, but the interface will look similar if you're watching on a smart TV, a streaming device like an Amazon Fire TV Stick, Roku or Apple TV, on a smartphone or tablet, on PlayStation or Xbox One, or other device compatible with YouTube TV. I'm going to highlight some of the major features of the YouTube TV service, but first I'd like to go over some of the basics of streaming TV along with a few of the available channels on this service so you can compare them to the other available platforms out there. Firstly, streaming TV means TV using an internet connection, whether it's your home Wi-Fi network or mobile data from your cell phone plan. Streaming TV services are offered via apps, short for applications, that can be downloaded on a variety of devices, like those mentioned previously. For the best viewing experience, you'll want to make sure your internet speed can supply the bandwidth needed for a high definition video stream, which takes about five to seven megabits per second. Now that may not seem like very much, but when you combine it with simultaneous internet activities on other devices, like online gaming, running video feeds from security systems, video chats and meetings, and downloading files, you could run into buffering issues if your internet speed isn't fast enough. It's a good idea to check in with your internet provider to make sure you've got the speed that you need. Now back to YouTube TV. This right here is the homepage of tv.youtube.com before signing into a profile. This is what you'll see before you get started with the service if you're browsing for information. YouTube TV is actually pretty unique in that it doesn't offer multiple channel subscription tiers like other streaming TV services. There's just one tier and one price. At the time of this tutorial's recording, YouTube TV has a special pricing offer for $10 off the normal monthly price for the first three months of your subscription. Keep in mind though that this special may not be in place depending on when you're watching this tutorial video. YouTube TV also has a free trial period, so you can check it out and see if you like it, and cancel with no strings attached if you don't want to continue with the monthly subscription. Now let's take a look at the channels offered on the YouTube TV service. When I scroll down, there is a text box here where I can enter my zip code to see what local channels are available to me in addition to the national networks that are available to all subscribers. Now for the Portland area, YouTube TV has K2, COIN, KGW, KPTV, OPB, The CW, and several local Spanish language channels as well. Now keep in mind that YouTube TV does not have the local sports channel offerings that some other streaming TV providers have. It doesn't offer Root Sports for coverage of the Blazers, Mariners, Kraken, Timbers, Sounders, and other Pacific Northwest teams, and it also doesn't have the Pac-12 network. So, if having those channels is important to you, you might consider an alternative service. However, YouTube TV does offer a variety of sports channels outside of those two that you can see here, including the MLB network, NFL network, NBA TV, Golf Channel, and several others that are listed here. There are also several options for add-on channels as we scroll down, which can be seen here with some of the premium networks, along with the Sports Plus add-on here. That includes BN Sports, NFL Red Zone, Outside TV, Golf TV, and more. YouTube TV also offers a 4K Plus add-on for ultra high definition picture that also lets you download recordings to watch online. This is great for plane ride or for areas without an internet connection. And that package also allows for unlimited streams so you can watch on as many devices as you want. That 4K Plus add-on is an extra $19.99 per month. All right, now if you decide to get started with YouTube TV, they make the process pretty simple. After clicking the Try It Free button, you'll be prompted to sign in or create a Google account as Google owns YouTube. If you have a Gmail account that you use for email, this is the same login that you'll use to sign into Gmail. After signing in, you'll be taken to this screen where you can actually browse through content on the YouTube TV platform before officially signing in. You won't be able to watch any of the content, but you can get an idea of what the service looks like and browse through some shows if you'd like. Now let's jump into the YouTube TV platform and see what it can do. I just logged in and now you can see that there's a few different places I can go here to watch content. Keep in mind that the YouTube TV interface may look different depending on which device you're watching on, but the functionality and features will be similar. Now this first tab that I'm taken to here is the home section. This section shows me some recommended shows here, 
lets me jump back into shows that I had been watching previously here. And then as I scroll down, it breaks out content into genres and different sections. For sports fans, there's a nice feature here called Upcoming Games, where YouTube TV lists out upcoming games across a variety of sports that will be airing in the future. You can even add it to your DVR library here, and you can choose to follow specific teams and record all their games as they come up in your TV lineup, a great feature for if you have teams that you like to follow. Then, as I scroll down some more, there's even more sections and genres to browse through as well. Now let's move on to where your DVR recordings are held, the library. This is where your recorded shows and movies live, and this section's pretty simple. It's broken out into recorded things ready to watch, and then things I have scheduled to record in the future here. Now remember that YouTube TV includes unlimited cloud DVR storage with every subscription, so you don't need to worry about deleting programs to make room for new ones. All right, now if you're someone that wants a more traditional TV experience with a channel guide, look no further than the Live tab here. The YouTube TV guide shows live and upcoming shows across your subscribed channels, and it can be as simple or as customized as you want it to be. First, you've got the time here at the top moving from left to right into the future every hour, and your channels from top to bottom over here on the left side of the screen. Now, one of the really nice things about the guide is the ability to move channels around in the guide using the sort button here. So you can have your favorites at the top for easy access if you like. Just drag and drop these channels around in the menu and then that's where they'll appear in your guide. You can also uncheck channels like this and they will no longer appear in the live guide. Now you'll still have access to these channels, they just won't appear in the guide as you're browsing through. Also in the sort menu is the ability to show the guide in alphabetical order from A to Z or Z to A, from most watched to least watched, or select default to organize it by channel number. So now I've got K2, Coin, KGW, and so on. And on to the last couple of sections here in the top right corner of the screen. First up, there's a search bar here with this little magnifying glass where you can type in the name of a show, movie, or team, and then view the results of programming available to watch live, on demand, or upcoming. And you can browse through a variety of genres and sections here in the search area as well. Then next to that, you have this little question mark icon where you can search for or browse through some tips if you ever need help with YouTube TV service. And then this final icon on the right side is where you can adjust your profile and your account subscription settings as well. Keep in mind that the pricing, features, channels, and promotions mentioned in this video may be different depending on when you're watching it. For the most up-to-date information, visit tv.youtube.com. Thank you for joining me today and happy streaming.